What's going on everyone? Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with another episode of Willie Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town. On the last episode we gathered a ton of items. As you can see below we got the stamp that we're going to use for who knows what. We have the jar and the shovel which we're going to use to find ingredients for the pharmacist. The matches there we use to light the lighthouse. We've got a hammer, scissors we use to cut the eyes off a poster. We got posters, of course, and a music roll there that we're going to put in the piano. We've got the old bow that needs to be fixed. We got a lot of stuff, and uh, hopefully we can start using it in this episode. So stay tuned and see what happens to Willie. But I really do hope you enjoy. <laughs> These are the flowers the pharmacist was looking for. Better take them to him. But he expressly instructed me not to touch them with bare hands. I should use something that will preserve their essence. I hope they grew spontaneously. I don't want to open a coffin. It doesn't seem healthy to touch these things. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Unless it's a matter of life and death, my tools cannot be touched. I get it. Hello. Hi. Do you need something? He seems very busy. Good boy. I can see you're very perceptive. Let's say it's one of my numerous gifts, in addition to... I'll stop you right there. I already said you're very perceptive, and you noticed that I'm very busy. What does that tell you? That we have become friends? In a certain sense. So I need a favor from a friend. Could you please talk to me as little as possible, at least until I'm finished with this job? Is it a long job? You have no idea. Goodbye. Bye. Maybe it could come in handy. Good morning, Father. Good morning, son. I was admiring the beauty of this church. You're right. It's a real piece of art. It dates back a few centuries and is all thanks to an ancestor of mine. After he traveled across the ocean, he settled here in Bone Town. Seeing the condition of the village, he wanted to build a place of comfort for wayward souls at all costs. What was the name of your ancestor? Edward Drake. The first minister of the Bone Town community, upstanding guide of Bone Town's people, unblemished pastor of the community. Yes, Father, I think I understand. This calling has been handed down from one generation to another, right up to today. Can you tell me anything more about Edward Drake? My ancestor? 
First Minister of the Bone Town Community, Upstanding Guide of the Bone Town's People, Unblemished Pastor of the Community. Yes, that one. Before coming here to Bone Town, it is said he was a skilled glassmaker. All the stained glass windows of the church are his handiwork, created by his powerful hand, fused with the secret fire of faith, designed with the ecstasy of supreme adoration. Yes, really beautiful. Yes, son. Every time I look at them, the fervor of the drakes ignites within me once again. Goodbye. Goodbye, son. Difficult task without even the original hammer. I don't need it here. Is it possible the solution could be so easy? It seems to have worked. I won a prize. Very nice. Let's see what this is about. Small Teddy, property of Rock Lafitte. Rock Lafitte? Could he be the same man from my father's letter? It would seem he was a pirate with a soft heart. It'd be better to check this plush more carefully. Just as I thought, there's something hidden inside. The very smart Mr. Lafitte hid his piece of the map, the only place no one would ever look for it. Better add his part of the map to the other pieces. I don't need this plush anymore. I hope Mr. Lafitte won't be offended. Here are the pics I took with the Polaroid. Now that the photographic film is over, I don't need that Polaroid anymore. I don't think there are any specialist photography shops here in Bone Town. It should work. The photos surely have to be inserted here. Very well. A perfect plastic copy of the gun photographed in the shop. This printer model uses materials that faithfully reproduce the original objects by starting from simple photos. This replica could surely come in handy. It's a 3D print. It's weird seeing.
This sign invites me to the marriage. It says, new arrival, try it. No problem. That always happens when kids play with it. Mm. I'm gonna tidy up. I hope it won't take too long. Finally, let's see if there's a clue. Hopefully it's not loaded. Very good. Inside the barrel was a piece of the map. Roger's piece. I don't feel at ease with a real weapon in my pocket. I'd rather not take it with me. But I can't get rid of it here or the owner would get suspicious. I'd better leave it somewhere outside of the store. Looks like a good spot here. Now it seems much less aggressive. I see you want to prove yourself. When you're ready, call me. I'll be right there. It could work. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one, or just another common person. Our menu includes mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, chicken in vinegar, blah blah, chicken, blah blah blah, free range, blah 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 blah, herb crusted, blah blah blah. Hmm, kid. Hey, kid, the test is over. I saw you fall into a trance, just like in the legend that has been passed down for generations. You're the chosen one, the one who can taste the unique and incomparable Bellamy cookie. After the sixth plate, I felt the force flowing strong in me. I know. The chosen one has this power. Keep the key. With this, you'll have access to the Bellamy treasure. Thank you. I'll put it to good use. Good. I don't need these cardboard eyes anymore. It only works with its lock. I can't open this case without the right key. The lock seems to be tamper-proof. Since I'm the chosen one, I'm entitled to it. It's an ordinary nail f That's a good idea. This anvil gives me a perfect support. Now I have to find something with which to try to open it. That's a good idea. Only the imitation of an ancestral weapon will allow the chosen one to perform his duty. After the impact, the hammer disappeared. Maybe it wasn't a copy of Thor's hammer, but at least the cookie broke. Inside, there is something left by Eddie Bellamy. Better take it all to not leave any trace. 
so I find myself with the pieces of a biscuit that dates back centuries and a message. Hmm. It doesn't seem like the classic fortune cookie message. It's a piece of the map, just like my dad said. Better add it to the others. Let's give a touch of authenticity to this poster. Now it seems that it was issued by a town hall department. The stamp has done its duty. I don't need it anymore. Here you are. Interesting. Sure, they are wanted posters of Tom Rayleigh. I found them at home in an old chest left to us by one of my ancestors. I know that in the past he had some problems with the law. My poor great-great-great-grandfather Tom. Um, actually, they look authentic. The resemblance to you is evident, especially after he drank a bit. Oh, thanks? And the stamp is authentic as well. There is no doubt, you're one of Tom's heirs. Finally! I have something for you. Take that envelope. Tom forgot it here, in the old prison after his last, um, visit. Since then, nobody has ever seen him anymore. Can you tell me what happened to him? He then moved west, becoming very famous. Just as I thought. I have to follow his path. Take his envelope and make your forefather proud of you. Now I have to refine my technique so that it will at least be equal to that of Master Rayleigh. Thanks a lot. Better leave before opening the envelope. Let's open it. I'm intrigued to see what Tom Rayleigh left me. As I suspected, inside there's both a piece of the map I was looking for and a little flask. By the smell, I'd say the rumors about Tom's drinking problems were true. Best to add this piece of the map to the others. Let's just hope the contents of the flask won't spill out into the bag. I don't want to give the impression of being a drunkard. Hello? Boss, it's me. Bob is keeping an eye on the young Morgan. It looks like he's snooping around Bone Town, but we still don't know the reason. He's either particularly good or he has nothing to hide. I don't trust him. It's strange that Henry's son shows up again in town after all these years. Continue with the surveillance. Sooner or later, he'll make a wrong move. Okay, boss. I'll keep you posted. Good. Close this time, and another Morgan won't stop me. I think it is the only one able to digest it. Great! I can finally rummage through its nest. A five cent coin. It'll surely be useful. Five cent coin. Do what you gotta do. Perfect. A jelly bean. It's closed. The owner has put up a notice. I'll be right back, thanks. He actually told me he was going to the warehouse. I better try later.
No horse can resist a treat. Better put it inside the manger. Being very careful, I should be able to take what I need. Easy, horsey. You won't notice a thing. That didn't go too bad. Now I have these amazing horse hairs. I hope they come in handy. Good idea. The roll should go here. What was that? There's a hideout in the wall. The opening mechanism seems to have activated with the sound of the instrument. It should work. Another noise. The hideout opened a little bit more. If I remember correctly, it should be played like this. That noise again. Finally, the opening is big enough to allow access. At least for a hand. I don't need the bow anymore. Perfect. I can get my hand through. It's a piece of paper. Actually, it's a piece of kid's map. 